Welcome to the final part of this four-part series that has been prepared for citizens considering running as a candidate for election in a Saskatchewan municipality. The final part of this series focuses on how to run for council, including the eligibility requirements to be a candidate, completing and filing of nomination papers, campaigning, and key documents required after being elected. This series is meant to be thought-provoking and provide you with a broad overview of municipal government, what you can expect and what is expected of you as a member of council, information on candidate eligibility, and the process to run for council. It is important to remember that these videos are not a substitution for the legislation that contains election requirements. It is the election candidate's responsibility to ensure that they meet the legislative requirements and deadlines for running for council. To assist in meeting those responsibilities, you can contact your local municipal office, review municipal election information on saskatchewan.ca website, and review the legislative requirements contained in the Local Government Election Act 2015 and the regulations. How to run for council. First, we will discuss candidate eligibility. There are three candidate eligibility requirements that are the same across all municipalities. All candidates need to be at least 18 years old on the day of the election, a Canadian citizen at the time that you submit the nomination paper, and not disqualified pursuant to the Local Government Election Act 2015 or any other act. We will now go through the candidate eligibility requirements for each of the municipality types, in addition to the ones discussed here. The candidate eligibility requirements if you are running for an election in a city, town, village and northern municipality are the requirements mentioned on the previous slide. Plus, you must have resided in Saskatchewan for at least six consecutive months and have resided in the municipality or on land now in the municipality for at least three consecutive months prior to filing the nomination paper. The candidate eligibility requirements if you are running for an election in a resort village are the common requirements, plus you must have resided in Saskatchewan at least six consecutive months and have either resided in the resort village or on land now in the resort village for at least three consecutive months before the date the nomination paper is submitted. Or you are the assessed person of property in the resort village for at least three consecutive months before the date of the nomination paper submission. Or you are the spouse of a person that meets the previous criteria. The candidate eligibility requirements if you are running for an election in a rural municipality are the common requirements plus you must reside in Saskatchewan and be eligible to vote in the rural municipality. Voter eligibility information can be found on saskatchewan.ca. To run in a municipal election, you must file a nomination paper with the returning officer or nomination officer by the deadline specified in the notice of call for nominations posted by your municipality. After determining if you are eligible and deciding that you want to run for council, the following steps will assist you with filing the nomination paper. Obtain a nomination paper and public disclosure statement form from your municipality and complete the forms. Ensure the public disclosure statement is attached to the nomination paper. If your municipality has a population of 20,000 or more, a deposit is required to be submitted with the nomination paper. 
The deposit can range from $100 to $500, so check with your municipality to confirm the amount required. The deposit will need to be either in cash, a certified check, or money order payable to the municipality. A criminal record check may need to be attached to the nomination paper if your municipality has passed a bylaw to require one. Check with your municipality to see if one is required. Obtain the required signatures for your nomination paper. The signature requirements should be clearly outlined on the nomination paper. For more information on signature requirements, contact your municipality or visit saskatchewan.ca. Complete the candidate's acceptance form, which will be part of your nomination paper. Review your nomination paper, including the candidate's acceptance form, public disclosure statement, and required signatures to ensure it is accurate and complete. Ensure all requirement attachments are complete. Once your municipality publishes the notice of call for nominations, you can file your completed nomination paper and the required attachments with the returning officer or nomination officer at the times and locations specified in the notice. Do not wait until the last minute to submit your nomination paper. If you are missing information, you may not have time to correct it before the deadline. The nomination officer or returning officer will review the nomination paper to ensure it is complete, including all required attachments. Only completed nomination forms will be accepted. If it is complete, you will be issued a receipt of nomination and candidate's acceptance form. It is your responsibility as the candidate to ensure the nomination paper, including attachments, is accurate. Contact your municipality for more information on eligibility requirements, the nomination per period, and requirements for the filing of a nomination paper. Let's move on to the subject of campaigning. The purpose of campaigning for an election is for a candidate to convince electors that they are the best candidate for the job. It could involve talking to people, distributing brochures and posters, and perhaps paid media advertising. Every printed advertisement referencing an election must contain the name of the person who has authorized its printing, display, and distribution. When the polls are open, no candidate, agent, or other person shall influence or attempt to influence voters in any way at any polling place or within 100 meters of the building where the poll is held. Check with your municipality to see if they have passed a bylaw to establish disclosure requirements regarding election campaign contributions and expenses and or election campaign spending limits. Rules regarding proper campaign procedures such as advertising, canvassing in or near a polling place, bribery and threats can be found in the Local Government Election Act 2015. Election candidates that intend on campaigning should review the rules thoroughly and ensure they are followed. If you are elected, there are two documents that you are legislatively required to complete right after the election. The oath or affirmation of office and a public disclosure statement. The oath or affirmation of office is a prescribed form that must be completed prior to carrying out any power, duty, or function as a member of the council. The public disclosure statement must be completed and submitted to the administrator or city clerk within 30 days of being elected. Failure to do so results in a disqualification from council. It is important to remember that the public disclosure statement submitted with the nomination paper is not valid once elected as a council member. You must complete a new public disclosure statement after you are elected. 
For additional resources on elections and the role of council, please visit saskatchewan.ca and search for any of the following. Municipal elections, consider running for council guide, conflict of interest, public disclosure guide and templates, the Local Government Election Act 2015, and the regulations, and the council member's handbook. For more information, contact your municipality. If you have technical questions about legislation, contact a municipal advisor with the Ministry of Government Relations, Advisory Services and Municipal Relations Branch. Thank you for watching part four of this four part series. We hope this has assisted you in your decision to get involved with the democratic process at the local level by running for your municipal council.